The Wichita Independent Business Association, founded in May of 1931, has a long tradition of civic participation in the growth of not only businesses in the Wichita area, but the community as a whole. In those early days, the Wichita Independent Business Men's Association assisted citizens in finding gainful employment during the worst financial disaster in United States history, the Great Depression. During World War II, the organization assisted the war effort and the influence of WIBA can be similarly found in events related to each major historic milestone of both local and national significance from its founding until the present. Even today, WIBA is highly involved in the community, partnering with the City of Wichita to help grow jobs in the region. We are also working with Wichita Public Schools, supporting the efforts of faculty and administrators at Jardine Technological Middle Magnet School, mentoring students and providing monetary assistance to their STEM learning lab. It's fantastic when we have uh, business partners like WIBA that will come in and work with our students and the partnership at Jardine will be an immense benefit, uh, not only to our students, but I think to the community, uh, for them to be able to work with business professionals and to, to mentor and, and be guided in that process is really a win-win, not only for our students, but our community as a whole. There is a spirit that runs through the course of Weba's history, and that was actually the genesis of the organization. This spirit transcends the mere idea of small or independent business and places Weba in a realm above, caring for the needs of those who elect to join in the partnership of advancing the hopes and dreams of individuals who envision a better life for themselves and a better community through pursuit of their own business. Weba fosters this spirit of independence in a very personal way, developing relationships with our members, not simply counting them as numbers on a graph or chart of membership. WIBA connects me directly with other business owners and decision makers. Those connections have formed lifelong relationships for me and have played a large role in my company's continued success. We take a personal approach to working with our business partners when they meet with challenges. Lotus Leaf Cafe was just such a member partner with a great dream of a restaurant that would create, prepare, and serve healthy alternatives without preservatives or genetic modifications. Such dreams are sometimes tough to enact, however, so when owner Jackie Kiefer met with a fairly major challenge, we was there to assist. That challenge has been met and Jackie's business is on track for success. When it became public that Lotus Leaf was struggling, um, I received a call from Lon. He said that he could help. At first I was a little leery, but after I was talking to him on the phone for a little bit, I could feel like he was very genuine in what he wanted to do. Um, they stepped in, they promoted to all the businesses that are a part of Weba. We've noticed a, a nice growth, but the biggest thing is, is that it really renewed my faith in humanity. That personal approach is also key to Weba's activities fostering the birth of new and the growth of existing businesses. As mentioned earlier, Weba is working with the City of Wichita and other partners to foster business growth and bring new jobs to the region. But this goes deeper than simply creating jobs. It is about creating a rich environment, a quality of life that keeps young people interested in careers and life in Wichita. Wib is extremely excited to be collaborating with both the City of Wichita and other organizations across our community to foster an environment of independent business growth, entrepreneurship, and collaboration to move our community to the next level. Weba also creates a platform for business-to-business -business interaction that is unique. The individuals who attend Weba functions, be they monthly luncheons, bi-monthly mixers, face-to-face -face forums with public and elected officials, or our annual meeting, tend to be the decision makers for their organizations, CEOs and owners. When you attend such an event, you are likely to meet these individuals, share ideas about business in general, and perhaps about the products and services your business offers. I think that's what really makes uh, Weba unique is that you are dealing with the decision makers and you have the opportunity as a decision maker not only to have uh, conversations and build relationships and I think that's so important that it goes beyond just networking with individuals but building relationships with those other business owners and individuals that are making decisions about business in the community. With so much to offer, it was imperative in early 2015 that the Weba board demonstrate the vision to do some tough work, to develop a strategic map for the future of Weba. 
That they did, and in May of last year, that plan was ratified and the job of putting it into action began. I am proud to have been in a position to help set a new course for WIBA and its members. We are now poised to take WIBA into its future. A major factor in that plan was a rebranding intended to bring WIBA into the 21st century with a look and feel that would embody the new plan as the organization moves forward, providing a contemporary interpretation of the values enjoyed by WIBA. With the help of member partner Armstrong Chamberlain, WIBA members charged with the task of overseeing this rebranding, along with WIBA staff members, rolled up our sleeves and went to work. And the selection of Armstrong Chamberlain as a strategic partner could not have been a better choice. After exhausting hours reviewing the strategic plan, the history of the organization, a multitude of interviews with WIBA members and other stakeholders, and a detailed internal process of brainstorming, evaluation, and reevaluation, Armstrong Chamberlain determined four words that personify the essence of WIBA partnership, resources, advocacy, and growth. Additionally, they assigned a color to each of these words, red for partnership, gold for resources, charcoal for advocacy, and blue for growth. What we learned about WIBA is that these members are fiercely independent, and yet they love coming together in a community. We think that's exactly what we want out of WIBA, so we're happy to be a partner. And in the final analysis, we believe the great team at Armstrong Chamberlain knocked it out of the park, so precisely capturing the essence of WIBA and folding that into a branded image that is the embodiment of who we are. It is contemporary and balanced with a design that captures that spirit of WIBA, that personal approach to fostering our member businesses, and treats them not really like members anymore at all, but as partners. So, without further discussion, the new and improved branded image for the Wichita Independent Business Association. This new logo is the launch of a complete rebranding campaign that will be rolled out systematically over the next several months and includes new branded collateral, everything from letterhead to marketing brochures, and a completely updated website. Be on the alert for exciting additional changes over the next several months, and thanks for sharing in our great past and partnering with us in looking toward an even greater future as we connect to success.